help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. But we do have our next guest here. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you today? Fantastic. It's day one. I, I know. It's day one, but it feels like day five. <laughs> and on day four, we might have a different answer to that question, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Yeah, I'm uh, Julia Deister. I'm with Hydrific, part of Lixel. And yeah, we are here to showcase our first product that we just launched. Okay. And it looks like a water drop in the, in the yeah, logo. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it even says droplet underneath. So there we go. Yeah, here <laughs> so we go. Go ahead and tell me about that. Yeah, at Droplet, we did a Kickstarter campaign like last March, and we are just shipping our first units. Okay. And we are using um, CES as a platform for direct-to-consumer launch. And I can show you what it actually is. So if I unpack that little guy, um, it's like a the smart The cube. box says hello in case you guys missed it inside. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very cute product design here. Um, so it's like a smart home water sensor that okay. works in single family homes. And it is very, very easy to install. So it's like you can see that it's like a easy clamp on design. Okay. And you just put it on your main water pipe close to your shut off valve, ideally. Okay. And from there, it's just installed at one single point. So you just need one droplet in order to monitor your entire water usage at home. Wow. So yeah, so it's using um, two ultrasonic sensors that are here. Oh. So it can read through the pipe. Uh, it's compatible with 95% of single family home setups. So you don't have to worry no matter what pipe material, what pipe size you have at home, you can just easily clamp it on. It takes you five minutes to install. And that in then it connects to your app on your phone. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we wanted to make sure to have a really affordable product that's uh, very easy to install. And it's like a low entry point for water usage education and better awareness around your water use at home. So yeah. All right. So obviously water usage sensors are not new, right? They've yeah. been around for ages. The the water company uses them, yeah. right? Um, so as as the homeowner, what benefits do I get from having this sensor? So yeah, you mentioned like, yeah, everyone has a water meter at home, but a lot of people get their water bill like maybe once a year, maybe every month, but it's like one big number that doesn't really tell right. you much, right? right? So we want to give a tool to the end user where they can understand better what does it really mean like at home. Okay. So especially like in markets like California or Texas, where there's a lot of water restrictions, people need to save water, but they really don't know where to start because okay they don't really understand where the water is going at home. So the benefit here is um, actually we are using AI and machine learning okay. in order to understand where your water is going at home. So you could tell, for example, is uh, do you have an inefficient toilet at home or like how much do I really use for showering? So oh, the okay. end user can actually make day-to-day -day choices that are really easy to integrate into their lifestyle okay. without too many trade-offs. Um, and the other uh, really nice thing is talking about water bills. Like actually, uh, we have studies out there that you can save up to 30% of water use and money as well with this type of product. Okay. Because um, like you are actually going to get, for example, like leak alerts. Um, so that's like one of the main benefits that Droplet has. Okay. Um, where you are going to get a leak alert, for example, if you have a low drip uh, at home, so that's really, really helpful for people to get ahead and prevent like a huge water damage at home, right? Like we had so many stories of people like that were, um, yeah, that had like a leak happening for two, three years. No one knew about it because it's like a slow drip. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, yeah, your your like whole sh like shower system is dripping and it goes through the walls and you have a water damage of thousands of dollars. Um, yep. But yeah, we also have like uh, fun stories like uh, users, current users actually that left their garden hose on, right? For like a few, like and they got a notification on the app. I'm like, oh, forgot about that. So it's easy things like that that actually 
um, really help um, because you have a current view, not just like a historical once a year type of number on your water bill that really doesn't tell you much. Your second example is an interesting one for me because we live in Florida and we had the hurricanes a couple months ago, right? Yeah. And um, we had the, we didn't know that the hose was on because we had a nozzle on it, right? And yeah. A little water gun, right? You leave it on, it's no big deal. The hurricane snapped the nozzle off. Oh, no way. And we didn't know until we went in the backyard several days later. <laughs> exactly. And so it had been running at full blast in the backyard, just going and going and going. So we would have had, assuming there was an internet connection, which at the time there wasn't, but that's a whole different issue. <laughs> yeah. This would give you the alert that, hey, something has gone terribly wrong. Correct. Okay. Correct. So, yeah, that's like a huge benefit. And like, pe like also even the awareness and understanding of water use at home, it might be not top of mind for everyone, but almost everyone we talked to had a story like yours, right? And then yeah. it's like, okay, it actually can help a lot in, in everyone's life, right? And yeah. So you mentioned that you were using uh, machine learning. Yeah. Um, is that, are you looking at like water usage trends to figure out this is what a toilet flush looks like. This is what a shower looks like. This is what a dishwasher looks like. Is that what you're using it for? Yeah, like okay. it's uh, yeah, pretty much a really great explanation. So each fixture and fitting has like a specific uh, fingerprint. So as you said, like it has a certain pattern uh -huh. that you can follow, and then we can easily classify where like where the water is used. Okay. So yeah. And then you can see if something changes. Exactly. Such as the the toilet tank is starting to leak a little bit. Exactly. Like, that's a huge one, like, uh, like a leaky toilet flapper. Yeah. And it's, like, insane. Like, if we uh, look at use cases, like, there's, uh, like, users, actually, that have reported to save up, like, $1,000 a month because of a leaky toilet flapper. I know, like it's 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 wild, that's right? It's an expensive water bill. Yeah, I know. Like Ooh. we like we had like a used like literally two weeks ago, someone texted us saying like thank you so much. Like if I wouldn't have caught that, or, like and and that's things that you don't really like think about. Yeah. But in areas in the U.S., California, some really high water bills or ticket items for yeah. that, and it really helps with that. Okay, so. From a power standpoint, it looked like there was a USB-C on the yes, side. Yes, correct. Okay. Like, we have a USB-C here. So, do we keep it powered, or is this a charged device? Uh, we keep it powered. Okay. So, we did a lot of beta testing, uh, trying to understand what's better, using battery power or USB-C. And, like, um, like, based on our research, like, the majority of households actually have a power plug close by to the main water shutoff valve. Okay. So um, sometimes you need an extension cord, but with an extension cord, you can normally um, normally install it easily. Kay. And the idea is so you can install it, you leave it there, and you don't have to worry about right. it anymore, right? Not changing batteries, and it uses a lot of battery power because we are sampling data so much. So it uh, can sample up yeah. to... Uh, Every time with yeah. something does water. Ex exactly. This has to start paying attention again. Exactly. And it's yeah. like we are sampling 50 times a second <sighs> if something is happening. Okay. So we can, like, that's, like, we kind of need that data, uh, um, like, like, data accuracy in order to be able to classify it, right? Yeah. Is it a faucet or is it a shower? If we yeah. don't sample it often enough, we won't know what leaks, like, what type of leak it is. That um, makes sense. So, yeah. So, USB-C plugged in, um, yeah. Okay. And it just clamps on the pipe, the end. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like you just clamp it on. We have an LED indicator, so it, okay. uh, uh, it indicates red light that you are not connected yet. Some people don't even know what the water pipe is, right? So we had people like, oh, this Fair is enough. not working. Um, so like it gives you an indication, okay, uh, go to your water pipe or you're not clamped uh, like tight enough. Okay. So it gives you an indication and then you go through the onboarding on the app. Mm -hmm. And then you're all set up. So you will see Fantastic. your now view, like your historical view on data usage. And yeah, and you can start um, saving water at home. So the, the original Kickstarter uh, orders are shipping now. Yes, correct. Uh, if I, who did not do the Kickstarter, wanted to get one, what kind of timeline are we looking at for that? 
So um, February, actually. So okay. yeah, so you can like we have a sh show special right now uh, for 169, and we are having a lot of people coming s and stop by at our booth. And yeah, we are backfilling all the orders we have right now in January, and then starting in February, we are going to ship uh, Droplet out on our direct to consumer website. Fantastic! And. For people who want to find out more information or to buy one for themselves, how can they do that? Yeah, um, just go on hydrificwater.com and you will see our website. You can get our droplet right from there and order, order it today. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and showing this. Very cool. I've seen, yeah, here we go. I've seen a number of these devices at CES yeah. over the years. I've never seen one that just clamps on. Normally, you've got to... Uh, pull stuff out and attach it. Yeah, I know. It like always a, seems yeah. like more than I'm willing to do. Exactly. Is what it comes down to. I, 100%. Plumbing is the thing I don't do. <laughs> ever, if I can avoid it. Trying to fix a leaky f flapper is about as far as I'm yeah. interested in going. So I don't have to do any plumbing. No. And I can still get the insights. Which is a win for me. So yeah, no, one hundred percent, and that's like that was our um, choice, right? We were thinking about really complex systems at first when we launched or when we ideated, and mm -hmm. then we are like, no, we need to start way lower in the funnel. Like we want to have something very easy, everyone can buy. It's the most affordable sensor out there in the market right now, nice. and yeah, and it's the most accurate accurate one too. So you can see everything what you need to see. And yeah, you don't have really that many trade-offs with it, so it's it's easy to act on it and educates you on your water usage. So, the most affordable and the most accurate. I think you've found the sweet spot there. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for coming thank up and so talking much. to me. Have a good rest of the yeah, show. Yeah, thank you so much. You too. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2025 coverage is executive produced by Adam Barker. Technical director is Kirk Corliss. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Tracy Ingram, Xerxes Goddard, Brandy Jackson, and Aviva Cram. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, and Scott Ertz. Studio and equipment are provided by Plunkett's Productions. The TPN Studio Executive is Todd Cochran. This has been a Tech Podcast Network production, copyright 2025.